An excellent connection. Let's have a look. Hmm. Okay, just doing a live video here. Um, I do believe it's live about now. So, at home, obviously, COVID-19, so can't really go anywhere. But this morning, I've been out and I've done a whole heap of work around the house. I've cleaned all the eaves, the roof, the gutters, the windows, you name it, even the wall. Clean the wall, the air conditioning units outside. I've cleaned the lot. Um, so this is only going to be a very short live because I've got a Zoom meeting to go to shortly. Um, so I just thought I'd jump on and check if this computer one works as well as the phone because this is off the PC at the moment. Um, so I was just set up, I've just spent the last hour working out how to do this live off the PC. Um, but been keeping myself busy anyway and I'll suggest you lot do the same and you'll see I've got my trusty steed back on the indoor trainer and um, yeah I guess I'll be doing a few indoor trainer sessions um, I'm not going to be on Zwift um, I'll give them Zwift away uh, I may do I may look at getting back on it but at this stage I'm not I'm just going to get on the trainer and um, just pedal away just to keep my legs there and I'll also be going out now and again with the wife and kids on the mountain bike so that's pretty much what I'm going to do and I've got my total gym set up in the garage right behind me um, so I'll be jumping on and doing some of that as well but I'll tell you with all the things I have to do around this house now my wife's found me a list this long it just keeps going um, so with all those things I'll be keeping fit just doing those things so um, anyway it'll be good fun uh, but all is well at the moment all is well um, I hope everyone else is doing well and not going too crazy being locked up at home it is a bit of a big thing you know um, but I think you've got to find things to do and one of the things you know we talk a lot about on my channel is uh, the sorts of food you should eat in between exercise and all the rest of it now a lot of us are going to be doing less exercise and more couch potato exercise so um, you need to watch more now what you're shoveling in than you did before so unless you're doing the same amount of K's on the indoor trainer as you were initially as you were normally on your bike uh, you're gonna have to start being careful what you're eating so i mean it's just about, about common sense isn't it um but anyway let me get a couple of these questions out of the way um i'm hoping this is working by the way i haven't looked to see but i'm saying well it's all saying excellent connection and it's all working well so we'll continue on um and we'll see uh, but anyway got a well it's not a question it's more of a um, response to my video how to fix a flat tire without a puncture repair kit um, it says about 40 years ago the patches were crap which they were we all have tried it where you stick them on they slide all over the place they peel off you pump it up sh little leak and you're flat again um, but these days with vulcanizing patches they're much better so one minute max for glue to become tacky apply the patch and install the tube never had a fail this chap um, which is G J W 45 um, and I agree I think the patches these days are pretty awesome and there are some patches as well that a mate of mine Alf has had where there's not even any glue they just stick without glue or anything apparently so um, how good they are I don't know I've never used one um, now let me just say that video i did that just it was it wasn't to replace the patch obviously a patch is good if you've got one um but if you do find yourself in a position without any other way of repairing a tire well you know that is one way it can be done um and it does work i'll tell you it does work 
Um, so anyway, yeah, thumbs up to you, mate, for um, putting that out there, because it is true, the new patches these days are much better. Um, now, another one from Incognito Person um, sent me this yesterday. Now, this is from a video um, from a while ago, actually, where we, me and Tim and Alf and Mark um, and maybe some others, I can't remember who was with us, were bombing along the bridge that takes you over to Redcliffe, um, the Donnybrook Passage or something, I think it's called. Um, and we're all bombing along at about 40 k's an hour. And quite rightly, incognito person has said, is it safe to be flying past casual walkers at such high speed where there's no room for a mistake on anyone's part? Um, and yeah, look, you are quite right. Um, we shouldn't really have been doing that. And we don't do that anymore. Um, we haven't done that for quite a few years now. Um, that was about, that would have been about four or five years ago when we were still uh, young and stupid. Um, but yeah, we've sort of gotten over that speed thing. We're all now more concerned about when we're going fast. If we fall off, uh, you know, we don't bounce as well as we used to. Uh, so yeah, you are right. You shouldn't be doing that. Um, and actually, that bridge on um, Strava, I believe, is a no marker zone. You know, so you can't do, you can't get any PBs along there. There's no PRs or anything. It's completely wiped. So Strava must have done that themselves. Um, and your times and that don't register along that particular section of bridge. Um, and I guess they've done that to stop idiots like us once from doing just that. Um, so, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, that's it. And then can you? another one is um, from Colin. Can you sync up a Wahoo Bolt to any or only specific to Garmin products. Um, I'm not sure what this was for. What was it for? Um, how to add overlay to your cycling video with the verb edit software. Um, how to add overlay to your cycling video. No, I'm, oh, I'm with you. Okay, so you've got the Wahoo computer instead of a Garmin one. No, as far as I know, all the data that's collected from any of those computers and um, provided you can pull the data off the device onto your computer you should be able to then transfer that data to the verb edit software where you can add it as overlay so yeah they all work as far as I know I don't think it's to just the Garmin products. I may be wrong, but I don't think so. Um, no, it can't be. No, you must be able to, because I've seen other people's videos where they've got like a Wahoo um, console there, and they're, they've uploaded it with that data on. So no, it must be um, it must be right to be able to do it. Um, another one, Jim Nieski, <laughs> and I'm trying not to do this, and I know we shouldn't be doing this in the current times. And it says. He watched my live video the other day um, and he says, you touched your face a number of times during the video. You need to be aware of that. Take care. Quite right, Jim. And I'm going to give you a thumbs up. I do need to be more aware of that. Um, yes, definitely need to be more aware of that. You shouldn't be touching your face at all now. You know, we all, t I can't remember, I watched, a, um, read something the other day um, on one of these um, Instagram or something like that. And apparently we touch our faces so many times a day without even knowing it. Um, so we have to all try not to do that. It's very, very important. Um, so that's about it really. Um, let me see. Question about my heart valve from Simon L. Thanks for the video. It was one of my one of many that I viewed pre-op. I'm six weeks out of having my aortic valve replaced and videos like this really got me through the pre-op phase. It's really inspired me to document my own journey 
through the procedure and beyond and start up my own YouTube channel. All right, okay, that's good. Um, I really appreciate the effort you put in making this. Thanks for sharing. Yeah, look, um, that's mainly the first, re the first reason is why I made this channel really was to do with um, hard ops, which is uh, obviously big on my agenda. Um, so yeah, I do put videos up from time to time about my progress. And um, while we're talking about that, mine is fine at this stage. Um, I went to see my doctor in uh, December last year, which I go see him every year, my cardiologist, and um, all spot on, no drama. So um, yeah, I think you just got to stay positive. Um, don't forget though, if you do get colds, anything like that, you do have to be careful. So if you've got a heart valve, um, especially with what's going on at the moment, I think you need to be extra careful. My cardiologist has always said to me, and I don't know, is this a bacteria, this one? I think it's a bacteria, isn't it? Has always said um, that if you get a cold or a runny nose, you know, you start to feel unwell, you should always get onto some, onto some antibiotics. So um, I've always got some antibiotics available. Let me just shut that curtain because it's doing my head in that light. That's better. So, yeah, I've always got antibiotics available. So the one I use is amoxicillin, uh, which is pretty common. Um, so I've always got a box of those around. Um, and that's pretty much it. Um, well, let's have a look. Here's another one. Greg, I find, I found that pineapple give me a much energy. It's insane. Yeah, so I was doing a nutrition drink on my um, Ninja, I think it was. Um, and pineapple, yeah, pineapple's awesome. And I'll tell you something that is awesome, and I've been doing this for a while. Um, now I'll try and explain this quickly. Um, firstly, I take a multivitamin every day, yeah, and I take a thousand milligrams of vitamin C as well every day, uh, just in the little tablets. Um, I've done that for quite a while anyway, and I think it will help over this time. Not that that's going to stop you getting COVID 19, but I mean, look, at least your immune system's up there. Um, might pee half of it out, who knows. But anyway, um, one thing I have been doing for about two years now is I have, now this sounds terrible, I know, I have turmeric on my porridge in the mornings. So I don't do it every morning, but it's only half a teaspoon. Yeah, it's only half a teaspoon of turmeric um, in my porridge. And... I may sometimes skip the porridge one and I might have some scrambled eggs or something during the day or whatever. You can even, if you have a can of beans, some beans on toast, you can just mix a bit of it into that and have your beans on toast normally. It tastes perfectly fine. Um, or you can make it in tea, you can put it in tea, whatever you want. Um, but that's how I do it. And um, I really like it. But because there was no underlying issues with me at the time, I never really knew if it was doing anything. I mean, I'll be honest with you, I haven't had a, I haven't been sick or anything since I've been doing that. I've been pretty good all the time. Um, but just as a side note, my dog about four days ago now really hurt his shoulder. Now he's old, he's a German shepherd, he's 11, which is pretty good for a shepherd. And um, he's really limping badly. I mean, he was that bad and his back legs were all, you know, I thought he had a tick. Um, it was that bad. He was all wobbly like this. He could hardly stand up. And we checked him all over for ticks. No ticks. Um, so anyway, I had a look on YouTube. What can you give a dog for um, a pain relief? Because I thought, you know, he might have fallen down the steps off our veranda. Or when he runs around the garden, he might hit a tree stump. Something like that. So anyway, it said, this one guy come on. He goes, his dog had a similar thing, giving turmeric. Now, within a month, his dog, bang, was great. Now, I've been giving Sabre um, half a teaspoon in the morning and half at night with a bit of milk and an egg stirred into it and then some of his biscuits, yeah? Um, and he wolfs it down. He absolutely loves it. And I kid you not, right? If you'd have seen him four days ago, I should have got a video of it. If you'd have seen him four days ago, he could hardly walk. He couldn't even stand up. I had to pick him up and take him outside so he could stand there and have a pee, yeah? And even then, I had to hold his back legs. But now, four days in, he's not 100%, don't get me wrong, but I'd say he's 60, 70%. And I'll tell you, he looks like a different dog. 
I can't believe it. Turmeric, there you go, that's something. And you can take that. The only thing is, if you take too much of it, it will stain your teeth. So don't say I didn't tell you. Um, and just quickly before I go, I got this. You'll all be envious of me. Um, Lou Roll, yeah. Um, I got this for Christmas from my uh, lovely mother-in-law. And it's a joke toilet paper. Now, I haven't used any of this yet, luckily. Um, but here's one for you. Each time I do a live, I'll give you a joke. How's that? So here you go. Um, why couldn't the car play football? Because he only had one boot. <laughs> anyway, there you go. There's your joke for the day. Um, we will get a video. Um, not a video. We will get a um, Zoom meeting set up. Who wants a Zoom? If someone wants to go on Zoom with me, wants to meet up maybe one evening or maybe next weekend when we've all got a bit of time wants to meet up on zoom put a little comment down below and get your bike set up on the indoor trainer and uh, get some miles in because uh, we all need it and that's it because i have to go now um i've got a whole heap of things to be doing so take it easy folks have a good one and um hopefully this all worked Adios, amigos.